So tell me, Statue of Bernie, do you really think this is an important episode? What does that even mean? Alright, when you look at this episode, The Falling Fall of Ruby, uh, there's not really a lot there just on the surface of it. Basically, John basically grows a backbone finally and decides that he's going to stand up the Cardin with uh, the consequences well known. But if you really think about it, these last three episodes have all been on the same arc. <laughs> John arc. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> If you really think about it, these last three episodes, which have concentrated on Jean, are basically explaining how he's becoming an, a true leader. Because before, yes, he was dubbed leader of Team Juniper and all that stuff, but he isn't really a leader until, he, until these few episodes where he's basically driven to a certain point and he's able to come back from that point and be a good guy and all that. It's also a very defining moment for Ruby as well because she actually acts as the sort of psychiatrist kind of person to Jean and with telling him that he's a leader now and that he has to put himself second after his team and just a few episodes ago she was dealing with the same exact stuff so with this whole kind of midsection of Ruby right now, we're uh, concentrating on the two team leaders actually rising up to the team leader status. Okay, time to go in deep to all the things I thought were kind of small, but big deals in the whole Ruby universe in general. One, rapier wasps. Let's, let's take that and just break it down. Rapier, it's a type of sword. Wasp. They are evil. So you're basically taking a dangerous object and something of pure evil and putting it together, and I just thanked God that we didn't see them in the episode, and they were all trapped in a box. But if we really think about it, maybe in the next episode we'll be able to see them, and they'll attack Cardin because he's covered in sap. Two, the Forever Fall, the forest. Why is it called that? Well, I believe it's called that due to the fact that it has rose petal-like leaves that are forever in the process of falling off. They're, those trees are probably like evergreens or ever reds. <laughs> I did another one. And the fact that they keep their leaves year-round, but, uh, but they're just constantly shedding. And since, they, uh, since the petals are really light, they kind of just drift and fall and they're all pretty. I love roses, by the way. Number three, Cardin's hate for Pyrrha. Now, he says that she's a, a know-it-all and that he doesn't like her, probably due to the fact that she embarrassed him two episodes ago. Or was it one episode? It was one episode, yeah. See, they're all blurring together now for me. But basically, one episode ago, she embarrassed him in the class of D Dr. Ublek with answering a question that he didn't know, all factual-like, because... She is smarter than him, and he's a jerk. So Cardin, he's kind of evolving down from a potential villain's assistant slash apprentice guy to just full-on school bully. And I know that it's a real common place to have the bully in the whole uh, school scenario. That way there's tension and there's conflict and all that. But I would like to see it more if... I don't know if it was just a little bit more adult, but I don't know, it's just me. So where did this uh, episode leave us off at? For what? Okay, the big thing that it leads us off with is that Jean basically finally stood up the card in, and he's probably going to be beat up, left for dead in a bloody pulp, something like that. And then Cardin's going to go to Glenda Goodwitch, tell him, Oh, guess who cheated in getting into Baba Doobada? So now we have the potential of Jean being expelled, or him staying, because I'm actually on the, uh, uh, I'm actually think he's going to stay, just for the fact that Professor Ozpin, he kind of knows what's going on, he's the all-seeing, all-knowing, smart guy, 
Dumbledore-like character, and he's probably just going to be like, well, I promoted him to lead of team, team Juniper because I believe that he is best suited for this, and I don't really care if he doesn't have the proper, proper qualifications. He's shown that with... He's shown he has proper qualifications by standing up for his team and never giving up and hub de herb de herb de. It's probably going to be something like that. On the other hand, they'll just expel him, and he'll be gone for a few episodes. Which would really suck, because then who would lead Team Juniper? Probably Pyrrha. But then, it wouldn't be Team Juniper, really. It'd be Team... Purr, or... Something... Like that. Let's see, if you just take P-R-N... Team... Team Porn? No, that's bad. But anyway, that's about everything I have for this episode. It didn't really go into any underlying details, and... I mean, if you guys think I missed anything at all, please uh, comment. I'm going to do a, a feedback video soon, so I'm kind of just compiling all the uh, questions and comments and all that stuff that you've left, and picking out the ones that really stand out, uh, so I can get back to you guys on that. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later, next episode, next week. I'll see you, yeah.